Alrighty, so we have interacted with the two other grand companies to uh, get tribal quests from them. Well, I guess you probably haven't seen the one in Gridania. Uh, so let's check in the Immortal Flames and see if there's uh, anything going on with them. Yours is a welcome face, Nyardbert. I have a task for which one of your impeccable record would be well suited. Though perhaps campaign would be a more fitting description, given the sheer commitment this mission demands. As you are well aware, the inhabitants of Thanalan have long suffered the hostilities of the Amalja. The Lizardmen have been quiet for a time, chastened by your victory over the primal Ifrit, but once again the Beastmen stir. There has been a resurgence in kidnappings, and in greater numbers than before. Matters have grown so far out of hand that the local garrisons have petitioned us for reinforcements. That is why I wish you to lead an extended action against the Amalja and put a stop to these raids. Report to Commander Gizelbert, head of security in Little Alamigo. He'll br brief you on the details of your duty. Alright. This one's a lot more <laughs> intentionally aggressive than the other ones were. A lot of the other ones have been like, oh man, we're having a problem. You should probably like go check out what it was. It might have been beast people. Hey, Gizzlebert. I remember you helping me when we were here trying to befriend the little Alamegans. Commander Swift said he'd assign someone to assist with our growing beast man problem. Glad to see the urgency of our situation is being taken seriously. Now, as I'm sure the commander explained, the Amalja activity in the region has grown almost frenzied. It seems like the lizard men are determined to carry off every peddler and traveler that tries to pass through southern Thanalan. And I'm not speaking of furtive nighttime raids here. The bastards are striking in full daylight, even against escorted merchant caravans. We've heard reports of raids as far south as the Sigoli Desert, so it's not a simple matter of increasing patrols on the roads into Alamigo. We must mount a decisive response, and soon. The next time the Amalja appear, I want you to be ready to send them howling back into the desert. Not long before you arrived, in fact, our scouts reported a merchant resting in plain view on one of the trade routes. Make haste to the location I've marked on your map, and see that the fool isn't taken by a raiding party. Alright, let's hustle. Hey, Gundabald. Hello. you? Nah, no time for that. <laughs> I forgot I still have things in my hunting log for Marauder. I guess I never really went and cleared that out. I probably should just for completion's sake, even if it don't, doesn't really give anything at this point. <laughs> Hello, carefree merchant. That is an adventure. I'm not setting up shop here. I simply stopped to give the birds a bit of a... Amalja raiders, you say? Kidnapping merchants? Don't suppose you'd consider waiting around until I get my chocobos back in the traces, would you? I don't see those chocobos, but yeah, sure, I'll, I'll hide back up back here and see if that lures them out. That's what we want to do. We want to lure them out. fall asleep. Oh, that guy's so fucked. Oh! Holy shit! Overconfident fools, you think your raids here go unnoticed? What treachery is this? You, you are of the Brotherhood of Ash? We are, though we number but few, will we shall be your death this day. Traitorous heathens! Your victory will come at a price! Hello. At 
attacking when the enemy's back is turned, your ancestors would turn in their graves. <laughs> A soldier's life is one of peril, and the first rule of war is to understand the mind of your enemy as well as your own. Your presence is noted here, adventurer. But this is our battle. You need not become involved. I am Hamushka, and I lead the Brotherhood of Ash. We are what remain now that the all-consuming flames have reduced the rest of my people to unthinking zealots. You interest me, child of Eorzea. Be it fortune or fate, I would not ignore the forces that sought to bring us together. I extend to you an invitation to join us at the Ring of Ash. Holy shit! <laughs> you okay? Thank you for not abandoning me to those savages. Is it not unusual for a Malsha to fight amongst themselves? I suppose even the beastmen have to, must have squabbles. should serve you so. Prove yourself a friend of the Brotherhood, and perhaps I will listen. My brothers and I uphold the glory of our past, and forge ourselves in the fires of righteous battle. Do not compare us to the grove groveling cravens that fill the ranks of Ifrit's worshippers. The weapons we wield were born of flame, but committing one's life to one's blade is not the same as surrendering one's heart to effort. The fools of Zanrak do not understand that simple difference. You think it's strange to find a Makote among our ranks. Loon Ga has trained with us since she was scarce more than a hatchling, and earned her place with fire and steel. Her name is... follows a Maltra, I mean. So where is she? Welcome to the Ring of Ash, adventurer. This place serves as home for our humble gathering of soldiers. My brothers and I ever seek to hone our martial prowess and honor the blood of our ancestors. We keep to the old ways of the desert nomad and of the warrior. To those who are worthy, we show the proper respect, regardless of origin. Your aura, it carries the reek of brimstone. Would you be one of the champions said to have laid low the Lord of the Inferno? I am then I would have you understand the curse that has befallen our fanatic brethren. They have forgotten the code that governs, or governs our people, the glory that comes with a warrior's death. They spirit away the weak and feeble and offer them up in exchange of the barbed blessing of a hoary god. Day after day, I witness the shameful acts of my kin. The honor of the Amalja is a faded, paltry thing, no longer driven by the righteous fortunes of battle. It is these kidnappings that most stoke the flames of my fury. Why the victims often bear no arms at all? What triumph can be found in such cowardly attacks? We are hunters, my brothers and I and the fallen Amalja who huddle in Zanrak our prey. If you share my outrage, then I bid you join us in our kin war. No, I will not accept this pretender. You claim to be one of the heroes that felled Ifrit. I've cut down a dozen men who boasted that feat. 
More likely you slew a guttering fire sprite and convinced yourself it was the king of the seventh hell. I did not ask for your counsel, Nunga. I and I alone make this decision for the Brotherhood. <laughs> and you better not stray into the path of my arrows, adventurer. We have too many enemies for me to waste ammunition on puffed up heroes like you. Forgive this interruption. I shall vouch for the authenticity of your claim. Only one who has faced and defeated Ifrit could have the scent that you do. Past glories, however, will not impress my soldiers. Prove yourself through your actions, and you might find your reception here improved. Our foes are the Amalja of Zanrak. We shall break the fangs that feast on the helpless. Our target is clear, and our resolve unshakable. Very different vibe than the Cobalts. <laughs> <coughs> All right, Hamoshka. What's our what's our business from here? We, the Amolasha, were once simple nomads who roamed the vast plains of Pakalthan. If any sought to impede our path. We relished the challenge to our skill at arms. For as long as our people have existed, it has been the tradition for aging warriors to make the pilgrimage to the holy land of Zanrak, and there confront the specter of death. It is an honor to cast one's time-tempered soul into the sacred flames and returns one's body to ash. But these craven whelps of Zaharak quaver before death's inevitability. They seek not to fortify their spirits, instead groveling before a deity for the strength they do not deserve. I have not the words to express my disgust for the manner of this groveling, this subjugation of the meek by contemptuous weaklings. The path to true greatness lies only in conquering those greater than oneself, and in the doing, attaining mastery over one's own failings. War leader, there is trouble. The flame fangs have scented fresh prey. We must sound the call to arms. It seems you shall have the chance to prove your talents, adventurer. Show the Brotherhood your unbending steel. Lunga! Your wish, war leader? This warrior is known by the name Lunga. Though her form may be Makote, her soul harbors a raging blaze to match that of any Amalja soldier. We of the Brotherhood know only the struggle for martial perfection, tribe, clan, gender. These details matter not. Lunga, you will accompany our newest ally into battle. What? Why choose me for this task? Surely there are others more fitting. Some hatchling in training, perhaps? Enough. I grow weary of your insolence. Shall I have my blade answer your mewling? No, war leader. It shall be as you command. Now we shall see you for the charlatan you are. Meet me at this spot on your map. I pray your screams are short-lived. Time to flex on this, I guess. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh god, oh god, save me! Where have you been? I've already felled the forward scout. See the markings? We most certainly face flame fangs. Take up your position and keep your weapon handy. The rest will soon be upon us. Which markings are that? I imagine they're probably on his face, which is not super visible because he's face down. Alright. Let's go, I guess. Hello! expected you to die here. Come now, we return to the Ring of Ash. Phew. You made short work of those raiders. I don't know who you are or where you came from, but you have my thanks. I heard the Amalja were snatching folk from the trade routes again, but I thought that was just my rivals trying to scare me out of business. After all, the roads have been safe enough until now. I'll have to hire a guard or two for the next time I pass through here. Damn beast men. Sellsword wages do so eat into a man's profits. Ah, oh, that's the same thing you said before. Alright. Oh man. The mount for this tribe is probably going to be the, the, the lizard to match Munga. It'd be lizard mount bros. You are no hatchling in battle, that much is obvious. But do not think me so easily impressed. There is yet the question of your resolve. The Brotherhood of Ash is a conclave of elite warriors. Under the command of Hamujga, we wage a war of attrition against the zealots of Zanrak. Those fallen Amalja build altars and pitch camps wherever they please, convincing themselves they are the masters of the Holy Land. It must feel brave indeed to challenge none but the weak and undefended. Recall the raiders you but recently faced. They were members of the Flame Fangs, a faction among the Zanrak Amalja, more than it that more than any other delights in kidnappings. Naturally, they also draw the most ire of the Brotherhood. It is our mission to see their ambitions grounded to dust and their leaders slain, and it is the duty of all those who would call themselves true Amalja warriors. And now, a warning. Do not seek to meddle too deeply in our affairs. This war is not some distraction to be dabbled in by outsiders such as you. <laughs> you think my words unconvincing? You think that I too am no Amalja? To the seven hells with what you think. Go! Make your report to Hamushka before he has to find himself a new pet adventurer. Honored ally, news of your battle has spread through the camp. By all accounts, you fought with uncanny ability. None may now doubt that yours was the hand that slew a raging god. If our cause rings true in your heart, then I would welcome further aid. Will you unleash your fury alongside the soldiers of the Brotherhood? I will. Let the zealots fear our coming! Well said. Yours is a true warrior's heart. Though we differ in many ways, the foe that we would topple is the same. Let us vow death to the flame fangs. Theirs is a fire that cannot be suffered to burn. Hell yeah, we are neutral with the Brotherhood of Ash. All right. <laughs> you bet your ash. <laughs> We of the Brotherhood of Ash seek to hone our martial prowess and honor the blood of our ancestors. 
we keep to the old ways of the desert nomad and of the warrior. Though we are but few in number, our discipline and courage will see us triumph over the endless depravities of our fanatic kin. All right, so we've got more quests to do. Uh, I'll bring us back in a couple days to see how the uh, Amalgia quest line shakes out. This one's fun. I never even touched this than my other character. I'm excited to see how it plays out. All right, we've done a couple days of Amalgia quests. Uh, and now it's time to advance this plot. Let's see what the uh, tribe leader has for us today. Amujga. What awaits us? Do you know Forgotten Springs? The Makote settlement found to the south in the Sagoli Desert. We have just received urgent word from Lunga. She reports that a hunting party from the U tribe village was ambushed by a sizable Amalja force. Those that were not massacred outright were dragged away by the raiders. They have likely already been tempered. Lunga mentions, however, that one of the Makote was nimble enough to evade capture and flee into hiding. We have no alliance with the U tribes people, but we cannot close our eyes to an act perpetrated by the very foe we so greatly despise. For the chance to strike a blow at our enemy, we will go to war for Forgotten Springs. Be my spear, honored ally, and I shall hurl you into the midst of Zalnarok. Lunga awaits reinforcements to the southeast. Join your strength to hers, and do what must be done to rescue this lone, courageous Makote ranger. All right, we got a Makote squad, or at least like from the outside, it'll look like that. I know Lunga is a scaly, basically. In all aspects other than the physical, I am an Amalja. <laughs> oh, wow, well done, Luga. And Does your lizard have a name? Uh, gods be good. When I requested reinforcements, I did not expect the war leader to send you. And just as before, you are too slow to respond. While I sat here, grinding my teeth in frustration, I watched as the flame fangs discovered the ranger's hiding spot and hauled her off to their encampment. The encampment is their forward base, and, as such, the place is awash with alert and wary soldiers. The two of us would fare poorly against such numbers. Without a cunning plan, that is. You, my eager outsider, will have the use of my mount to sow a trail of chaos amongst their ranks. Listen carefully. The Amalja like to stockpile the oil that they use to light their watchfires and such. Seek out the barrels and tap the drake's head. That is the command for him to spit out a gout of flame. The resulting explosion should be enough of a distraction for me to slip in and free the captured Makote. Once you've freed yourself of angry Amalja, meet us beyond the edge of the camp where the desert begins. Alright. Let's go. I, I don't know if this thing has a name. I'm going to call you Lizga. You know, like people give their pets their surnames. Let's go, Liz. A whole bunch of barrels. Hell yeah. Don't mind me, Amalja Lancer. I'm just gonna go around and find some barrels. Oh, yeah. All right, additional barrels. Hi there, Mr. Archer. Woo! Blow 
blood for the blood god chaos oh wait should i fight him probably not i think they said just freed yourself so. you know what yeah fuck it three less fang flame fangs is always a good thing You. I was certain my time had come. The lizard men fell upon us so swiftly we had no time to react. Your companion, the one who freed me, she seems so very familiar. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Even riding a drake, you still somehow managed to arrive last. Yeah, because I was running a distraction. I thought perhaps you'd been caught in an explosion and burned to a crisp. A pleasant thought, but apparently not the case. Uloon? Could that really be you? We well, had thought you long perished. <laughs> no, I'm sure of it. Your voice is unmistakable. I recall the many days we spent laughing and chatting in the springs. I don't know of your damnable springs. I am Lunga, a warrior of the Brotherhood of Ash. My people are the Amalja, proud and strong. You have the wrong Lakota. I'm heading back to camp. See this hunter safely home before you return to the Ring of Ash. Do you know what her deal is? No escort will be necessary. I am a hunter of the U tribe. If I cannot cross the sands alone, I do not deserve to return at all. I would, however, have you visit the springs in any case, adventurer. There is more to your friend, to Ulun, that you should know. Since you're marked in the southeast. Do I have? Ah, you! Alright. Let's uh bring Pavel along for this. Alright, Alvin. Uh, you were wanted for actually let me see what are you wanted for? Doesn't say. Probably murder, considering you're a zombie. So. Ah. Uh, stand and fight! Bounty fulfilled. We meet again, adventurer. I needed to tell you that your companion is, without a doubt, the little loon I used to know. There must be some pressing reason for her subterfuge. 
Many of our tribes were close with Ulun. Or many of our tribe were close with Ulun. They may help you to understand why she hides behind that mask, and I hope you might best and how you might best help her. Of course I knew her. She was my blood sister. We were both daughters of the former Noon, although our mothers were not the same. You find my choice of tents confusing? She is dead, stranger. Slain alongside her mother more than five years ago. I did not witness the incident myself, but I will never forget the sudden pain of their loss. It is not uncommon to hear of skirmishes between our people and the Amalja. The Lizardmen do not respect our territory, and they interfere with our hunts. The desert suffers for their presence. Okay, that's not super relevant, but good to know, I guess. How do you can take a walk? Loom. Yes, I remember the name. She was a quiet girl, too timid to even slap at the, bit the biting desert flies. The lizard men took her away from us, and for that I shall never forgive them. <laughs> I wonder if this is the same sweet-smelling huntress from before, because if so... What a weird thing to remember, Nyardbert. It is said that the hunting that a hunting party was set upon by the Amalja. Many of my kin had not returned from the sands. Must the tragedies of the past be so faithfully repeated? <sighs> Even if Lumgaz not willing to talk about it, it might be worth passing that along to the leader that they're under the impression that she was kidnapped and or killed. It's like, that's something that should probably be remedied. That information. late again. I might have thought you delayed by a Wellwick worm, but the cloying pity in your eyes tell the tale. Do they mourn for me in Forgotten Springs? <laughs> Look at me, adventurer. This is an Amalja battle mask, given to me by the leader himself. It is worn only by those who have chosen the path of the warrior. You likely heard stories from the rangers of how I was taken or killed during an Amalja raid all those years ago. They are right, and they are wrong. I know not how I survived the attack, but it was Hamushka who found me as I stumbled through the desert, barely conscious and badly wounded. He gazed upon my ba gazed down upon my battered face and gave me a simple choice. Linger here and die, or come with me and fight. It was then that I made the decision to discard my past, my family, my tribe, my very identity. I was reborn into the Brotherhood of Ash, existing for no other purpose but to feed the fires of my vengeance. This mask is a symbol of my resolve. It represents my transformation into an Amalja soldier, strong and proud. <laughs> I tell you this not to justify my deceit, but to damn the flood of your foolish questions before it begins. Now, stow your unwanted sympathy and make your report to the war leader. Okay. I actually can't understand. Honored ally, with your continued aid, the Brotherhood of Ash will rekindle the glory of our past. As once did our ancestors, we shall forge st of steel our bodies and spirits, and greet death with honor. To no gods will we beg, nor against the meek raise arms. 
We are the warriors, walkers of the path of righteous battle. We do not kneel to claim our strength. Live by these words, and your soul too shall burn as brightly. You've achieved recognized reputation at the Brotherhood of Ash. Cool. Yeah, the same text. Alright. Well, uh,. On to do a new tier of lizard chores. Then we'll be back in about a week to advance this further. Thanks for coming, folks. Hello, folks. It's been about a week, and it is time for us to advance the Amalja quests. Fortune is with us, honored ally. A brotherhood scout has chanced upon a convocation of our hated foe. Ooh, my voice is not doing it today. Yeah, well, got my best. The Flame Fangs, and surreptitiously learned of their insidious scheming, they plan to pull the strings of their tempered puppets and orchestrate another kidnapping raid. It is the intelligence provided by these tempered spies that affords the Flame Fangs such a wealth of victims. This cannot be allowed to continue. We must gouge out their hidden eyes and blind them to the movements of their prey. You are no stranger to little Alamigo, I trust, though it appears a haven for travelers and merchants. It is not but a rotting corpse riddled with flame-addled maggots. You are fortunate, then, that you may walk among them unchallenged. Go to little Alamigo, honored ally and do that which our Amalja soldiers cannot. Root out the tempered, and make of it a haven in truth. Okay, good. <laughs> the first step there is talking to Gizzlebert. I'm like, oh, I really hope that I can tell them and I don't just like walk in and start killing folks. That's not right. <laughs> hey, Gizzlebird, we have reports of potentially tempered people here. What's this? He claimed Little Alamigo has been infiltrated by tempered agents. I wish I could refute you, but I have had my suspicions. It explains how the Amalja are able to set such well-timed ambushes. With spies inside the settlement, it would be an easy feat to learn the schedules of visiting merchants and the like. Commander, sir! We've just re received reports of Amalja kidnappers attacking a caravan of travelers. They're dragging their captives off into Zanrak even as we speak. Again? Damn those blasted lizards! This is the fifth time this moon! Ah... <sighs> Most of my troops are still recovering from the last engagement. Sergeant, I need you to assemble a squad and chase down those kidnappers. Take whoever can swing a blade. I'm from the Maelstrom, not the Flames, but I could help. Care to lend a hand, adventurer? I've not but raw recruits for this mission, and your presence may make all the difference. Pray join my soldiers out in the field as soon as you can. Alright. In the meantime, you keep a lookout for our traitor. Yes. You don't seem injured.
Who are... Ah, Gizzlebert sent an adventurer to wipe our asses, did he? Well, you're too late. With these soldiers down, his entire unit is in tatters. <laughs> All it took was the right word in the right ear, and away they scrambled. It was like leading lamb, lame furballs to slaughter. You... You're one of the newer recruits. You swore an oath to the immortal flames. An oath? <laughs> My loyalty belongs to none but Lord Ifrit himself. And the flame flames are and the flame fangs are generous to those who serve well. The immortal flames of Little Alamigo are now naught but the walking wounded. The Imaz will be able to raid with abandon, and the soldiers we've captured this day will make fine additions to the Lord of the Inferno's army. Hmm? You're still here. You think to punish me? <laughs> That's rich. I have allies lingering nearby, and very soon the main company of the Flame Fangs will be arriving to take possession of the spoils. If you lay a hand on me, you'll be making some very powerful enemies. I got bad news for you, buddy. They're already my enemies. What? Okay. You... You can't be serious. Flame Fangs to me! Alright, folks. As you wish. This is not supposed to happen. They were meant to detain you until the main company arrived. Bad news, fucker. <laughs> no. You stay away from me. Oh. Alright, so much for questioning. <laughs> nice shot, though. Ah, Lunga. That tracks. Yardbird, what in the seven hells is going on here? Uh, flame fangs, mostly. Appreciate the backup. <laughs> Our net has caught some rare fish indeed. The Brotherhood of Ash. They shame the Amalja with their petulant refusal to submit to Lord Ifrit's cleansing fire. They are not but ghosts of a fading past. So lacking in strength, they resort to consorting with the slave races. You! You're Zaga's te And I know of you as well, Lunga. Such an intriguing costume you wear. Have you enlisted in the army of my people? Enough games, lizard men! Why, what have you done with the captives? Those that proved intractable were slaughtered. The flame fangs do not countenance the rebellion of cattle. The rest are already far beyond your reach. Unless, of course, you intend to z assault Zaharak itself. <laughs> you civilized people make such endearing squawks and squeals as your hot blood sizzles on the desert sands. Those years have passed. Uh, though years have passed, I yet remember your mother and her bleating cries for mercy. Hells take you, you bastard! I've never felt such heat. <laughs> Is this the extent of the resistance I am to face? Is this the vaunted strength and resolve of the Brotherhood? I wield the unquenchable flames of Lord Ifrit himself, and you seek to extinguish them with a thimbleful of spit. Return to Hamushka and tell him this. This world has no use for spent ashes. He and his followers shall be scattered before the searing winds of Zonrock's glorious ascension. Are you all right? Where'd she get... Oh, she just pieced. Alright. Are you okay? 
Leave me. I'm done for. Please make the report to Commander Gisselbart. Okay. I wish I could just, like, hand you a potion, but... Hey, Gizzlebert, shit's fucked. Gods, Njordbert, I can scarce believe it. A tempered spy within our own ranks? Yet that's what I said, like, ten minutes ago. When men killed or taken, the Lizardmen wanted more than the merchants. They were after the immortal flames from the very beginning. And I all but blaze served them up on a silver platter. I... I beg of you, adventurer. Save the soldiers that yet live from a fate worse than death. Meanwhile, I'll see what I can do to ta salvage the tatters of my command. Alright, let's see if we can rally the Brotherhood of Ash for backup, or if I have to go in alone. Hey, Hamushka. Bad, bad shit. I thank you for your report, honored ally. This Zagaz Te you encountered is the fetid maw that drives the flame fangs. His sole purpose is to bolster the numbers of tempered. Each new fire seared slave feeds the inferno of their god's powers, and in turn the flames of Ifrit's altars bless the zealots of Zon Rock with unholy strength. The miserable sparks of their ambition must be stamped out. Go, honored ally, and break the captives free of their cages. Slay the jailers in the encampment to liberate the keys. Is back? Where is she? I hope she's alright. Alright, well, onward. Time to show Zonrock that they've messed with the wrong cat. <whistles> Greetings, assorted fuckos and fuckettes. Prepare to get your shit rocked. If anyone has a key, just like raise their hand and come attack me so I can murder you. Yeah, you. Yeah. Hi. That seems pretty far away from where these cages are. Those are the keys. Howdy. Don't mind me. And this visible maelstrom of rage.
Go ahead and die, please. Good night. Alright, what are the class one of these? Got it. Let's go search him. No. There we are. Time to let them out. I didn't think. I've been my piece of the gods. My thanks. Who's on inside? They are. Let's get you out of here. Move, move, move. You're freeing me? It's an immortal flame who captured me in the first place. I no longer know whom to trust. You gonna have an issue here, Archer? I'm just gonna sit still. Yeah, that's right. You don't want none of this. my home to the Empire and my freedom to the Beastmen, the gods must truly despise me. Perhaps, but you're free now! Alright, Kaba. Last one. stretched out in my bedroll, gazing up at the stars when some bugger bashed me in the noggin. Next thing I know, I'm making up in a cage. Say, yeah, but another way to little amigo. It's that way. Oh, that, uh, close enough. Alright. The deed is done. The men have been freed. I think they were all men. Oh, I almost landed there. That is all a bunch of tempered people. Dealt our foe a crippling blow, mighty ally. My warrior's blood sings at the thought of the confusion and devastation you have brought to Zaharak. Lungab, be still! What enrages you so? You know damn well what! That was the animal that savaged my mother! I'll tear out his heart and string him up by his entrails! Know yourself, young warrior. You are not yet ready to face the likes of Zagoz Teh. Should you confront your enemy now, you will die a whimpering cur's death. What are you saying, war leader? Is it, is it because I'm Makote? Will I forever be too weak to match Amalsha's strength? Foolish child. I say only that you lack martial wisdom. You imagine slights where none exist. 
War leader, Lungar's kin must be avenged. I shall fight at her side. Let us rouse the Brotherhood and smash this flame fang snake, snake once and for all. No. Against their assembled ranks, we would but invite our own destruction, and our laws are clear. Lunga, this is a blood vendetta. None may aid you in its resolution. Only through the glory of victory shall the shame of your defeat be expunged. If you've the spirit to rail and curse, then use it to build your strength, for strength is all that will aid you now. Ah, sands take you all. It is said that the drake will drop its own offspring into a ravine to watch it claw its way up. So it is with the Amalja. She's friendly reputation with the Brotherhood of Ash. Hell yeah. Alright, same times there. Lumen guys, there anything to help you with the training? Do you have anything more to say? No. Okay. Well then, we've got a new quest giver and a whole bunch of quests to do. I'll see y'all in about a week. Um, when we wrap up the monster quests, I believe. So, let's go to them. All right, so <clears throat> it's been a bit, and it is finally time to wrap up the Amalja quests, I think. Uh, a little thrown for a loop, because this guy has the quest, as compared to Hamushka, who had previously. But I guess it's time to get to the end of this. Let's see if Lunga Senpai notices me. <laughs> oh, she's right there on the cover. Martial perfection, damn. Lunga is gone. She had no duties that would take her from camp, the camp this day. I fear she rides for Zaharak and her chance at Zaga's, te Zaga's Tez head. The war leader must be told. Isn't she right? Oh, she was right there a minute ago. Damn, you were well informed. She's gone. The impatient whelp. Reckless action is not martial courage. To charge into battle without certainty of oneself or one's enemy is to court disaster. Lunga is beyond our help now. This is her battle, and her battle alone. Amalja law, for law forbids intervention in such vendettas. If she wishes to perish in a blaze of false glory, then that is the path she has chosen. Lunga's decisions define her as a warrior, and thus will end her tale. Harsh! Amushka will do nothing. We have trained Lungas, and she was barely more than a hatchling. There must be something we... Honored ally, though I've risked bringing shame upon myself in the Brotherhood, I beg you hear my plea. As an Amalja, I am bound by our laws and customs, but you are not. Pray follow Lunga into Zaharak and see she survives this madness. I could do that. God, you dumb lizard lady, I'm here to back you up. I need a new tank. 
Where are you, Zagazte? Your doom is come. Adventurer? Why are you here? Did you follow me? I told you, I don't need... <laughs> Since you are here, perhaps you could prove useful. There's a cage, yet deeper within the stronghold. I thought that perhaps... It might be... Well, just free the prisoner, yes? The key is held by Monab Shah. He's the Flame Fang's second in command, and not to be underestimated. Zagoz Tez mine, but you will have your share of the glory. Now go! I understand. Excuse me, gentlemen. Here to murder your second in command. Monab Cha! I'm here for your head! And also your key ring. There you are. Get out here, you soft bellied coward! He's tougher skin than that. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Hi. Punch. Here we are. Now. Let's see what was so important you had to personally guard it. On out, prisoner. Are you all right? Who's that? Who is it? Who's there? S stay back. You stay away. I know why you're here. Filthy kidnappers. You've come for my little loon, have you? you? What? She's was. Okay. You can't have her. No one can have her. She's been promised to the Lord of the Inferno. Oh. <laughs> Mother? You're alive. Who is that? No, no, I know you. People snatchers and your dirty tricks. Now get out of here before you scare my little loon. Out, out, I said. Gods, no. <laughs> there is not quite as touching as the reunion betwixt mother and child. I can scarce contain my tears of bittersweet joy. Sagaz Tay, you'll pay for what you've done to her, and to me. Some of the tempered, such as this one, are exposed over long to the sacred flame. They become the walking witless, barely aware of their own existence. Is Lord Ifrit's power not magnificent? Come now. It is time you are purified in the raging blaze of his blessing. Come back and face me, coward! Huh, thought that'd work. I go now to put an end to that monster's abominations once and for all. 
But if I'm to have any chance of victory, I'll need you to first destroy it for its beacons. Honor and pride, adventure. Honor and pride, Lunga. Are we not? Oh, did we close this again? Oh, I can't walk in. So I guess there's a force field. So we don't need to worry about it too much. could walk through here and all that, but I feel like it is best to accelerate this as quickly as possible to make sure Lunga gets all of the time she needs. That's okay, we're not here for the fight. Where's your third beacon? Do you keep putting them in fate? Ah, oh, there's one outside. It won't fuck with the music. There we Too late. Oh, we beat her here. That's novel. <laughs> you are as a lost kitten that has wandered into the Drake's lair. Surrender this doomed vendetta. Submit to Ifrit's will, as your mother did before you. Possible. My spells are drawn from the searing furnace of Ifrit's might. Wrong. Your power was drawn from the beacons, and those altars of suffering are no more. Without your precious blessing, there's naught to protect you from the sting of my arrows. M mercy. Mercy, I beg of you. The will of our god is overwhelming. Spare my life, and I shall become your slave instead. Pitiful creature. If any brings shame to the Amal Zagazda, then it is you. Your power is broken, and my vengeance complete. No more of my arrows need be stained by your coward's blood. Crawl back under your rock, lizard. Fool, die. Uh. 
hell of a shot. War leader. I guess we know why. You forsook all that is sacred to a true warrior of the Amalja, Zagos Ter. For your cowardice and cruelty, the only reward is death. I beheld the entire confrontation, Lunga. You fought with honor and with courage. Such was my proud exaltation. The dagger flew unbid from my hand. How unfortunate then that Zagar's tear stood in its path. It appears that perfect martial detachment yet eludes even me. Are you watching, Mother? You've been avenged. <sighs> Grim! But at least things turned out... I mean, as okay as it could, I guess. <laughs> Not to be more cruel than, like, they already are, but, like, why did they keep her mom? Like, once she was, like, tempered so far, she went crazy. Seems like they would just, like, feed her to a drink or something, but maybe there's some value in having the mindless worshippers? Where's Lunga? She's now with her lizard. Maybe we beat her back for once. <laughs> with the flame fangs defeated, the Amalja within Zon Rock will return to cowering behind their campfires. And though the embers of Ifrit's blessings yet smolder, we shall fight that fire with the flames we ourselves nurture, a strength born from within. But I need not speak to you of strength, for you perhaps more than any have neared the peak of perfection. You have earned the highest praise and deepest gratitude of my people. Even should our races clash in blood-drenched savagery, you, honored ally, will always be welcomed by the Brotherhood of Ash. I have seen my mother safely to Forgotten Springs. It is unheard of for Temper to ever recover from their primal-induced madness, but it is my hope that she will at least find a measure of peace in our old home. I hope so, too. Oh, and a word with you, adventurer. I questioned your resolve, and you have answered me as well as any Amalja warrior would. You have my respect. And my thanks. You're so pretty. <laughs> also, you took the time to put eye makeup on under the mask? Props. <laughs> This feels strange. I... Why are you staring? Because you're cute. I cannot help the way I look. My brethren must think me hideous. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. The road calls you, honored ally. Though misfortune seeks to waylay us, let us not stray from the path of the strong. Your deeds have been etched within the chambers of my soul. 
honored ally. Though the road might call you onwards, may the strength you have gained with the Brotherhood serve you well in battles to come. We did save her. <laughs> Aw, mask is back on. My thirst for vengeance is satisfied, but it is too late for me to leave the Brotherhood. I am too steeped in Amalja custom, my skin too stained with ash. Fare you well, adventurer. May victory follow in your footsteps. All right. Guess it's time to go then. Onward to Ulda. Commander Swift, we had a wild ride. I know you sent me to like check on a merchant, but holy shit, there's some shit going down in that area. Commander Gizelbert submitted a detailed report, Yardbert. It seems my decision to assign you this duty was the correct one. With the Amalja fanatics thus quelled, Thanalan may enjoy a measure of peace for a time. And though we are never in short supply of beastman related problems, I believe you've earned a respite from the chaos. Enjoy the rest while you may, Yarper. You've achieved trusted reputation with the Brotherhood of Ash. A real bad Ash. <laughs> Hell yeah, we are. Alright. I am going to head back there to pick up my Battle Drake. Because now that we have the max uh, rank, we can buy one of those. I choose to head cannon that it is one of the ones that Lunga trained. Because I like that little piece of attachment. But yeah, other than that, thanks for sticking this out. I hope this was a fun one. And we'll be back soon. Probably to advance the MSQ. I think this is going to come out before the most recent MSQ that I've film so the one of the corners doesn't really match but that's fine we will continue on and uh we'll see you soon yardbert will return adios folks adventurer I did not expect to see you again so soon. What cause brings you back to Thanalan? How does the Brotherhood fare? My brethren and I endure as do the stones of the Holy Land. We continue our crusade against the remnants of the Flame Fangs and battle Zonrock's deluded zealots. As long as the flames of their infernal god burn, our war will not end. You know well our resolve. Indeed, you are one of the few outsiders I have met who can match it. Even so, the years of conflict have taken their toll. Perhaps someday, when my vengeance is sated, I will visit one of those grand cities which the merchants tell. Do you think they would object the mask? <laughs> Good to see you. Alright! Onward! <laughs>